All right, what's everyone actually recording three videos a week? Finder here, and today we're gonna be playing some more Z the Face. Well, then, boys, is that first worth playing in 2024? And for me personally, it's an obvious yes, this game is amazing to all hell. It is just one of those games that if you are really into it, you're definitely gonna be playing it, and if you're not, well, shit, then you're probably not gonna bother. But yeah, man, for me personally, the movement, the gunplay, the sounds, yeah, everything in this game just feels giga. I mean, especially because the developer actually listened to the community. Oh my god, the nuke. God, I love the nuke. So yeah, the developer actually listened to the community. Now, the community... It's basically not much. Just a couple of people that, you know, actively play. Myself included, because this is just one of those games that... Well, yeah, I just, like, made a couple of suggestions and my man put them in. And why the fuck would I not be playing it? Because it's literally what I wanted. A uh, yeah, boy. What the fuck? And he just, like, started puking. Thanks, man. So, yeah, honestly, I'm not playing this game as much as I want to be playing this game because of, obviously, the job. Yeah, that takes up most of my day. Quite depressing, but that's apparently life. Very fucking fun. Wait, what the fuck am I doing? Okay, there we go. Wanted to get my... My Swedish Hell Bomber out. So I'm currently playing one of the most overpowered perks, I guess you can say, in the game. Called the Nuker. Yeah, this dude focuses on explosions. I mean, especially once you get the nuke. I mean, the nuke is just... Just fantastic. Just like... Wipes everything. Okay, freaking puke master, eh? So yeah, there's not like that much depth into this game now. Oh, Danuk. God, I love the nuke. So yeah, a lot of people have been comparing this to, you know, Killing Floor. It's, you know, not really Killing Floor related. I mean, Zed Fest. I mean, that's like the best comparison you can get from this game. But it is completely opposite. I mean, first of all, it's third person. Oh, there we go, the nuke. So yeah, this is a third person game. It's got, you know, more fast paced movement, if you will. Oh, there we go. It's also got, well, yeah, traps. Something that you don't have in Killing Floor 2. I mean, fair enough, you got the Sentinel and the HRG bomb and deer. But in this game, yeah, you got a lot of traps. Even freaking Tesla calls that I'm just gonna be buying casually. Oh, here we go. Freaking dudes out of nowhere, eh? Boy. So yeah, the best way to play with traps is to just, like, go to a choke point position on the map just like that. Oh my- Ooh. The freaking boy. Got him good. So as I was saying, with the traps, yeah, you just find a choke point on the map, like a one-way, you know, for the Zs2 just funnel in. And that's when the traps are probably gonna be doing the most for you. While well, you just like stand, shoot, and that's pretty much it. Now you can just play without traps if you want. This game is as free as you can get a game. I mean the movement's free. You can pretty much do like anything. You're not like limited to anything. Oh god damn. So yeah, that's what I- Ooh, double the nukes. So yeah, that's what I love about this game, it just doesn't take itself way too seriously. Now sadly, the player base is just non-existent, I'm just gonna be real here, I don't know why. It's actually kinda sad, because you know, the amount of time and effort that went into this game, and what this game could actually become in the future if people, you know, actually played it, would be mind-blowing. But sadly, that was not the case. But even though, you know, he's not like updating it anymore, I don't believe. I mean, he didn't, like, say anything that he's gonna be still updating it. Yeah, we still got a very fantastic game to play. It's really nice, I mean, go in, shoot some fools, get, like, some satisfying sounds in, some satisfying gameplay, some good old-fashioned freaking movement and parkour. Yeah, that's what we want. Or at least that's what I wanted. Pretty freaking dope, if you ask me. So yeah, just didn't click with, you know, the general population, and it is what it is. I mean, it can still do well in the future. I mean, he just has to, like, keep updating it and, you know, pleasing the peeps. And eventually more people would play, but that does require effort. Oh. God, the nuke is just so freaking nice, man. So you can play this game ultra freaking chill. You can just, like, stay on, you know, one part of the map. Or you can just, like, fly around the map if you are a freaking nuker. 
or any other perk that is focused on the movement. Just like the other perk with, you know, the freaking shotguns, I mean, pretty fucking epic. But yeah, man, the nuke, the nuke in this game is something that I requested ever since this game came out. And by god, is it good. Now, it, it is only a 5% chance of it happening, but once it freaking happens, yeah, that's when the fun fucking begins. Okay, I just put on a trap so I can will yeah, shop in peace. Hey, yo, what the fuck? My man. Just did attempt something there. Okay, just have to like place down another trap because otherwise I'm gonna get clapped up here. So yeah, this game also has a lot of, you know, maps. It has a bunch of game modes. You got objective mode, you got, you know, your classic survival mode, endless mode, and time attack, which is what I'm playing right now. And you also got, you know, a prestige system, a level up system. Yeah, it's pretty much got everything that Killing Floor has. But it's not as grindy as Killing Floor. And you also get, you know, some cool ass freaking colors if you prestige your perks. I mean, look at this, I'm a freaking RGB level 69 freaking nuker. And those were the best grindy days of my life. Ayo, hey, spooder the fuck. Time for you to blow up your fam. My god. I mean, some Zeds that got, you know, interactions on them. Pretty freaking good. I mean, the Puke Master can just like slice up his FAU tank and just like one shot kill him because my man's got a lot of health. And you know, with the Spooder, yeah, you can just like detonate him and he's just gonna. Uh, will it chop up everything around him? God, I love the nuker, man. You can just do like 360s midair. I mean, how good is that? We do I still have traps. Oh, I still got some traps. Here we go. A boy. But yeah, even though this game looks pretty easy because I'm playing it right now. Yeah, it's not that easy if you just like start it off because you don't need to like level up some stuff. You need to understand the mechanics, understand, you know, the stuff this game provides. I mean, fair enough, I've been playing. Oh boy. Yep, that could be, could have been the death of me if I just like landed directly on his ass. Because my man does have a lot of damage. The exploded dude. Okay, time to heal just a little bit. But yeah, this game, just very, very much love was put into it. And it sadly didn't will I take off. And I'm just like sad that it didn't because this is honestly... Yeah... I'm, I'm just gonna say it, it's better than Killing Floor 2, man. It's just so freaking addicting. Once you get the hang of it, it's pretty fun. Now, for me personally, I do love these, you know, arcade games. And, you know, rarely I stick with one because I just, like, change them up. But, you know, with Z-Fest, with, you know, it's... Well, yeah, free movement and stuff like that. Yeah, I just had to stick with it. It's just such a good-ass freaking game. Okay, 26 more seconds so I can open the fucking pugs. Or should I say the pug? Oh my god. Okay, 16 seconds until I get much. Oh my god, I love the nukes. Oh, we got another spooder. Let's just roll casually past them. So he's just gonna be blowing up everything there. Okay, just gonna slice you up. There we go. Get some of that, get some of the traps, so I'm not gonna get, like, immediately obliterated here. But yeah, you got a lot of weapons. Like, actually, a lot of weapons. So I'm just gonna get, like, a different one, just because, oh, I the fuck not. Hey, yo, what the fuck, Duke Master? Oh, there's, like, multiple. I mean, for nothing, just, like, whack him with my sword. Because the fuel tank is placed on his back, the sword actually goes through him, and that's what... Well, yeah, kills him. Okay, let me just get like an ammo generator. Let's just spam my homing Z kaboom right now. How's there not lock on on anything? But yeah, there's also like a reload cancelling in this game as well. So yeah, if you accidentally go for a reload, yeah, you can just like press, you know, one on your keyboard and you can just like shoot normally. Pretty fucking dope. Oh, here we go. Okay, fair enough. This is a little bit worse of a weapon. Overall, than the Swedish Hell Bomber. Because, I mean, you just like burn through ammunition. It doesn't have like that much of a splash radius. But more chances for a nuke. Even though I didn't get like a single nuke with this thing. But, I mean, oh, just as I was saying about not getting a nuke, it exploded. Okay, more nukes. Come on, that's what we're here for. But, yeah, man, this game is played giga freaking cool if you play it on multiplayer. 
But I mean, like I said, sadly, not much people are playing. But once you get like a full lobby of six, yeah, that's when the memes freaking begin. Especially when people start dying. I mean, that's just like a freaking clusterfuck. Yeah, boy. How didn't you get bashed from the boy? There we go. Okay, time to place down a trap just because I can. So yeah, traps, like I said before, yeah, just place them in choke points and you should be theoretically good to go. Hey, yo, we got another freaking APU, dude, let me just go behind them. Shoot them up, oh boy. I mean, you do also get, you know, the damage pop-up numbers. That's kind of cool. Something that we requested in Killing Floor 2, but we didn't get. I mean, on top of that, I'm a freaking character in this game freaking pathfinder i mean jesus just the reason alone to play this game yeah boy and another a hey boy what the fuck okay there we go i mean you can also kill him once he goes for you know an attack he like exposes the fuel tank so you can just like shoot at it that way yeah this thing not as satisfying it's just like we're shooting them up. But yeah, man, for an indie game made by a single freaking developer, I don't think a game can get any better than this. Just gonna say that. Okay, fill that shit up, fill that shit up, get some armor, get some ammo freaking generators, because this thing's gonna be burning through my ammo, and we should be, you know, theoretically good to go for the boss. Not sure exactly which boss it's gonna be. Oh my god. Dragonite. Yeah, this boss, one of the hardest bosses in the game. Not really for solo, but for multiplayer. Yeah, my man definitely can do some shit. Oh, here we go, boy. Yeah, you can actually deflect projectiles in this game. Kind of freaking pog. Oh, get nuked. But yeah, something that's very cool in this game as well is that, you know, bosses have phases. And after each phase, yeah, you just have to let go and complete some tasks. You know, doing some mad problems, or pressing buttons, or killing some stuff. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Pretty, pretty neat. Okay, 8 and 8 and 4 should be 20, and we should be good to go. Yeah, boy. Okay, now he's on the stairs, let's just go and lock onto my man. Just deflect that shit, I didn't even deflect it because I fucking missed. God, this thing's good. I can just like fly all over the place. I think mean, he's definitely trying. Definitely trying. Hey yo. The fuck? Just gonna be deflecting yo shit. Ooh, didn't deflect that one. Yeet. There we go. So yeah, this game does have, you know, some awesome ass freaking mechanics. So yeah, once you get like used to those, yeah, the game definitely becomes Oh, nuke to finish him off. It didn't finish him off like shit. Got him good still. So I actually feel kind of rusty in this game because, like I said, I haven't played it in a while. But, I mean, it's still a freaking blast to play. I mean, look, they shit just like sliding, rolling, doing some awesome ass things. Can't beat it, man. Can't freaking beat it. Well then, boys, that was pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys in the next episode. Adios.